to write a linear equation in slope intercept or function form, there's a couple of things that you need to do. First of all, if you're given two points and you want to write the equation of the line that passes through those points, the first thing that you need to do is identify the slope. So you may want to label your points with x1, y1, and x2, y2. That way when you go through and you find the slope, you can use the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then you're just going to go through and you're going to substitute in all of the different values from your two points. And as you go through and work this out, you end up with 5 in your numerator, and then this is going to change to adding the opposite, so 5 in your denominator, and when you divide that out, you get a slope of 1. The second thing that you need to do is you need to identify a point that you're going to use. Now you could either use negative 4, 7, or 1, 12. It's really up to you. I'm going to choose 1, 12. Now, in order to find the y-intercept, because those are the two things you need to write an equation in slope-intercept form, are the slope, which we have, and then the y-intercept, which we're about to find. What you're going to do is you're going to start with y equals mx plus b, and then you're going to substitute all of your values into that equation. So the y value from your point is 12, so we're going to substitute in 12 for y. The slope that we found was 1, so we're going to substitute in that 1. The x value of the point that we selected is also 1, so we're going to substitute in 1 for x and then plus b. And then you're just going to work through solving your equation for b. And after you subtract 1 from both sides, you end up with a y-intercept of 11. So then your final step is to go through and actually write your equation. So you're going to use the slope that you found in part 1, and then the y-intercept that you found in part 3. So your equation is going to become y equals 1x plus 11. Or you can write it as just x plus 11. If you wanted to write it using function notation, you would do f of x equals x plus 11. And that would give you your equation in function form.